Hello everyone, and welcome to the 11th video of this SD-WAN course series. My name is Brandon Stimson, your instructor for this video. Consider this the beginning of our advanced topic series for this SD-WAN channel, as we look to begin to tackle more of the cool features Webtela has to offer for their SD-WAN solution. So the first advanced topic that we want to look at uh, is application-aware routing. With application-aware routing, there are several identifiers one can use to match and manipulate data traffic. For this lab, we'll be making sure ICMP traffic goes over one transport and TCP traffic for the other. So to do that, we need to create a brand new transport interface, which would be the focus of this video, and also a PowerPoint kind of going over the overview of application-aware routing and its features. So let's get this started. If you've watched our previous videos, you should have an idea of how to create a transport interface and let's also associate that interface to a VRF VPN in the device template. If not, I recommend all viewers pause this video and check out our template configuration videos also on this channel that goes over the device template configuration more in depth. Because I'm just going to go over this configuration pretty quickly so we can get to the fun stuff. So let me go over here into vManage. <clears throat> And the password is not admin admin. Just kidding, it is. I'm, I haven't changed it at all. Don't worry. <laughs> so let's re log in to our vManage. And uh, as you've seen before, if you've seen our last videos, this is brand site one, brand site two. And uh, you'll obviously see another brand site right here. Uh, look for a future video on configuring VRRP high redundancy between these two v, v edges that John will uh, later release sometime in the near future. So, for, but for now, this is not important for our purposes of application aware routing lab. Um, so, just uh, not gonna ign don't ignore it, but you know, just uh, keep that in mind as to why you see that right there. It won't be important for our purposes. All right, so I'm logged into vManage. Let me try to enlarge this a little bit, make it a little bit easier to see. There we go. All right, so we're going to go over to device te or templates on our configuration pane panel. So our device template needs a new VPN interface attached to VRF slash VPN zero. So that means that we need to create a new feature template. This feature template is going to reference interface gig E01 as our new transport interface. So if you noticed here in our lab topology, um, if uh, we uh, zoom in on this cloud router right here, this is the ISP link that we configured in our previous videos for our initial uh, setup of uh, V edges to its internet drop and everything. So we're going to create a new transport interface on gig E01 on both V edges and they're going to use the LTE link to also get out to the internet and also reach the control plane to our vManage, vSmart, and vBond. So right now LTE is already running. It's uh, leasing addresses just like our ISP link. So we're just going to create this gig E01 on our feature template and create a new transport interface. All right, side note. This is a useful tip for anyone creating a new feature template. I'm going to go over to our WAN Edge VPN template that we use to create gig E00. Let me see. I'm pretty sure it's this one right here. Yep, here it is. Then I'm going to go over to the More Options bar. Click on Copy. And just change the values here to, I'm just going to change it to 01, make it easier on us and then click copy. And the feature template shows up towards the bottom here. The most recent templates that you create will always show up at the bottom. So now I'm just going to click on edit on this feature template. And right here, once it's finished loading, you'll notice that voila, it's pretty much almost done. <laughs> We have our variable that was uh, copied over from our original template uh, for shutdown. I'll go ahead and leave that already pre-configured. And you'll notice that our interface name is also GigE00 because it literally copied the same template from our transport interface from GigE00. So all we need to do is change that 0 to 1. 
very easy and very nice. And it makes it much easier from create, uh, than creating from scratch and will be a crucial time saver if you're looking to create new service VPNs, interfaces, etc. So you can use the same method whenever you're creating uh, uh, identical feature templates for service VPNs and uh, like we just did for our transport interface as well. So it's, a, it's, it, it's much easier than creating from feature template if you guys remember in our last configuration uh, template video um, we had to literally create from feature template and choose a device and so on and so forth so it's a little bit time consuming so for this uh, transport interface we want to be able to identify the color because that's going to be our important for our app aware routing and we're going to identify it as an LTE link just like our lab topology uh, specifies with the cloud router and let me just double check gig e01 yep and the variable we'll configure that in the editing device templates and everything else is good this is why oh also we have NAT, so we can actually read out to reach out to the internet as well um if you guys remember our direct internet access video we could figure that more in depth and uh, we'll actually be able to reach the interface uh, reach the internet over lte as well and yeah, everything else is done. Look how easy that was. Click on update. And we're good to go. But now we need, obviously need to do one more thing. Which one? Which which other tasks do we need to do? Well, um, is the feature template attached to the VH? It's not. So we need to configure that on the device template. So we're going to head over to the device template. Click on edit. We're going to go ahead and scroll down to our transport and management VPN section. And underneath VPN 0, we need to create a new VPN interface. You guys should remember that in our last configuration videos. So just going to click on that. And VPN interface shows up. Very nice. Choose from the drop down. And right underneath our drop down, we should see there it is transport gig E01. Get it attached to VPN VRF slash slash VP at VRF zero transport. So with that, just click on update. And everything is good because in that variable, you guys should remember um, as I click here, gig E zero zero and gig E zero one gives you the option of either shutting the port down or unshutting the port down. Obviously it automatically has it unshut which is very nice for us um, but we want to if we want we can click into this text box to shut the interface down obviously we're not going to do that and we don't actually need to do anything so that's also great because it auto automatically by default unshuts the interface so click on next and let's go ahead and just do a config preview just so you guys can see what we uh, what changes we made So new configuration towards the right, right here. And there we go. A new transport interface ready to be configured and associated to its control plane. Very nice. Click on configure devices, confirm, okay. So I just want to, um, after this, device template successfully gets applied to both V edges. We're just going to go uh, into an SSH session to both of our V edges four and five, just to show you guys um, that the transport interface is associated to its control plane. It's pretty cool. All right, successfully applied. Let's, well, not configuration, tools, SSH terminal. Let's create two sessions to both of our V edges. Password does not change. M and M. V edge five. M and M and show control connections. Hopefully you guys remember that very important troubleshooting show command. And uh, it's a little. Kind of concated right now. It's 
little tough to see. Let's see. Let's try to run it again. See, hopefully it shows. Yeah. Well, hopefully you guys. Well, you guys can obviously see on its local color right here. It's got a connection on its control plane over Biz Internet and LTE right here. So it's got a control connection to its vSmart and also to vBond as well on its LTE connection. And if you notice, uh, it only has one control connection to vManage. And I believe, I'm pretty certain that vManage only needs one control connection uh, to its V edges that are associated to the SD WAN fabric. And it chooses the first transport interface that comes up for the V edges. So obviously, Biz Internet is the first one we configured. So that's why we only see one to vManage. So we'll do the same to NL5, just to make sure everything's all good. And yes, our interface, transport interface, is successfully associated to its control plane. Very nice. So our tracker, tra second transport is configured. So now what? Well, now fun new stuff can happen. It's time to configure application-aware routing. If you're watching this video on YouTube, this is the unfortunate end to this video. I recommend all viewers head over to notlayer3.com for annual packages and monthly subscriptions to watch longer and more in-depth videos on all things SD-WAN related. This video in particular will go over our lab setup for application-aware routing and a quick overview of how Viptela defines their application-aware routing. I want to thank you guys for trusting us as your SD-WAN instructors and make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content. Goodbye for now.